Pluripotent stem cells are critically important to the work of the UC San Diego Stem Cell Program. They allow the Motri lab to grow neurons with neurological defects and Carl Wallen's lab to grow retinal cells with eye diseases so they can try to find cures. But how are they made? 2012 Nobel laureate Shinya Yamanaka discovered that by reactivating only four specific genes in adult cells, they would become pluripotent, which means they can be reprogrammed to make any tissue in the body, like the neural and retinal cells the Motri and Wallen labs use, as well as many other types of cells used to study or treat diseases. Allison Motri's lab can take cells from inside your mouth and provide them with the genes that Yamanaka discovered. The genes are introduced into the cells using viruses that can deliver the genes in a way similar to how a virus causes infection in a cell. The genes cause the cells to produce specific proteins. These proteins enter the nucleus and act on the cell's DNA. This causes the cell's DNA to convert the cells into pluripotent stem cells. These are called induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPSCs. The lab then carefully cultures the IPSCs, which grow in a thin layer, constantly caring for them to make sure they grow well. One reason IPSCs are so useful and important is that since they come from adult cells, they carry the genetics of the donor. This allows the Motri, Wallen, and other labs to capture the genomes of real disorders so they can work with the cells to find real cures, which the UC San Diego Stem Cell Program is doing right now.